Hello, my name is uh, Atul Sirin. I'm the founder of uh, Welfare for Animals in Goa, which we founded about uh, four years ago. There was very poor facilities for the stray animals of Goa. I think Goa has this very unique problem. Every six months during season time, it's really busy. And there are like hundreds of restaurants that are open. Uh, lots of animals thrive uh, during that time. But then off season, which is from May to maybe mid-October, there's no one here. There'll be a lot of puppies and kittens get separated from their mothers. During the monsoons, there are no restaurants open that can feed the dogs, which is why we have started a beach feeding program where we feed about more than 50 dogs from Morjim to Ashwam Beach. We set up a beach feeding program, which also included the sterilization and uh, rehoming of uh, cats and dogs. We've also uh, set up a clinic now uh, specifically to do these, because we also found out very soon there's a shortage of vets and clinics that would specifically cater for these needs. This is our clinic. This is where we keep all our rescue dogs and cats. All these dogs have some issue. They are all undergoing treatment or they are waiting to find their forever homes. Your leg is fractured, huh? Our clinic is quite unique because we welcome private patients and any profit that is made goes back into the rescue uh, sterilizations. The whole idea behind this uh, shop is that, again, to, to try and generate income from uh, uh, the animals that you rescue. This is a, a product called Gonel. This is a distilled cow urine, pine oil, and uh, water. And it's the most amazing floor cleaner, chemical free, and it smells very, very pleasant as well. Here we have uh, dhup cakes, which is like a giant incense bomb made from uh, cow dung and rice and essential oils. This can be burnt like a, a, almost like a smoke detox, and it gets rid of the mosquitoes as well. We have 25 cows, and from their cow dung, we get two cylinders of gas every month, which we actually then cook for the dog food. We've set up a, a, a great way of connecting people, and uh, while we wait for the government's help, uh, which could be a long time, so we thought, let's try and set up this network. And we have a page on Facebook uh, called Pet Life with over nearly 2,000 animal lovers from Goa and nearby. We've uh, actually set up a small uh, education center in the front where we'll be taking up to 20 children uh, with two teachers and two supervised adults. And the idea is to educate that generation on the importance of uh, animals and why we should respect them. And it's very simple, if you don't respect animals, you will never be able to respect each other. And if you see what's happening in the world now, uh, you don't have to be Einstein to work out that was, is very, very true.